What's going on today? Merry Christmas, everybody! What's Boxing Day today? Merry Christmas. Um, this is what we're doing today. I have a friend over today. Aiden, he's helped me a little bit. I need a little bit of help taking the rear end out of this car. Um, it, it wasn't like a big job, but it was a job that you need somebody just to watch. What I did is I had some square tubing up in the, the arch of the wheel well, and I had the rear end placed or welded to it so I could roll it around. So that's how, you know, that's how unfinished really the chassis and stuff is. You can see how we dropped the rear end down. I had some square tubing right there and I welded the rear end to it to hold it in place. Aiden helped me get it down and, and you know, it was a basic thing. We kind of took our time and we did it safely because um, I want to come out and work on the car again. Basically that's the reason why we do safeties because you do not want to get hurt when you are self-employed and you you have to get things done. Safety is sort of number one, sort of, I guess. Um, sometimes you don't see me wearing a, a, a mask or hand, things like that. I guess that's where the safety I'm a cut finger I generally put up with. <laughs> when you get squished, there's no putting up with it. So that's why we try to take a little bit of care there. But as I get that rear end out, now it's the chance to make the brackets to fit the fender skirts that we have on the car. So these are filled out there on now. Um, as you've seen, I filled it out with the 8 inch orbital. It feels really good. But now what I need to do is get it off the car. Before I get it off the car, I am going to make brackets to make it stay to the car and so I can take it off and on and make it stay in place. If I try to take the fender skirt off and then make the brackets and then put it back on, well then I got on, off, on, off. There's four different brackets you have to make. On, off, on. We don't want that. We want to finish it when we cut it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the underneath and I'm going to connect the brackets to hold the fender skirt on. When it's time to cut it off, I just go in with my hacksaw and cut the filler in between each panel and then I will pull it off. As we go over here, I'll show you what's going on. Um, the plasma cutter plasma cutter hooked in, turn her on, uh, we got a ground, and what I have done is I've come over here and I've cut each individual piece, I've cut holes with the plasma cutter, and I've cut little pieces off like this, and put a hole in them, I did not use a drill, I did not, I could have measured them, but I didn't after a while, I just kind of started cutting them, and the reason I didn't care was because, because, because I'm going to go over there and, and vice grip them all together and make them all the same with the flapper wheel. That's what I was going to do and that's what I knew I was going to do and that's why I did not care that the measurement was right on. They're close, but they're not. On the other half, I made a couple longer ones. This has got a hole in it. I made a little longer and I'll show you why. Just cut them off the plasma cutter. This is what I had here for stock on the shelf and that's what I used. And as we go over here, I'll show you what we did. We've made brackets. We've taken brackets and we've made, this is the inch piece with a hole in it. And there's the top piece and it's got a little bend in it. That bolts together. Nothing spectacular. Just bolts together. And what's going to happen now is, let's go over to the car. What's going to happen now is on this, on this fender skirt, for me to make it as quick as possible, make it as quick as possible for it to remove and to go back on, to fit, to get ready to paint, um, I'd rather leave it on until I'm done. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. As I have these brackets made, you can picture this is the fender skirt. This is the bar, that, this is the round rod that come down and then squared off. On top of it, there's another piece of round round bar that's welded to the fender. So I have a round bar on the fender and I have a round bar on the fender skirt. In between the both of them there's auto body filler with a with a 3 16 probably of a gap. So when I go under the car this I'm going to show you. Let's, let's just get down here a little bit Jolene. Let's get down. It's hard to show you but I'm going to show you on this side if you can if you can see it. Come over this side. There you stay there baby. Go over where you was. And you aim her right up in here, and I'll show you this part, if you can. Okay? Are you, can you see me? Now, there's a piece of square tubing on the top. This is the fender. 
This is the fender skirt. What I'm going to do is, you see this bracket with the 90 up, and, the, and then, then you got this one bolted to it. I'm going to weld this bracket with the 90 to the fender, and then the, then the flat piece is going to be welded to the fender skirt. So you can tell that's going to be welded to the fender up there, and this is going to be welded to the fender skirt. When I cut them free and unbolt it, it's going to fit because it's all been put together. Like there's, there's nothing that's come apart on it. Nothing has stopped. So I'm going to put one there. Then I can take and put another one there. I will pin it up in the middle. And what I mean by a pin is I will take one of these plates. I get this bolt. I'll take one of these plates. I will weld this to the top of the, to the fender. And then I will weld a piece of round rod to the, to the fender skirt and it'll go up through that hole and it'll pin it up in the middle. And this is the reason I've dropped the rear end out because I want to do all this stuff before I cut the fender skirts off. So all brackets have to be made before the fender skirts come off. And if you can picture this, when I get in here with a hacksaw and I get in here and I cut that out with a hacksaw in there between all the mud and cut that off, pull that fender skirt off. When I pull the fender skirts off, they will fit they will be filled, they, be, they will be primed, they will have the brackets on them, they are done. And I have not taken them off once. So you can imagine, if you, you can imagine, how many times, if you did not weld them to the car and do it the way I do it, how much time you would spend to make a set of fender skirts work. <laughs> and that's why they're calling me a genius is because I would rather do it the simplest way possible. And I ver find it very hard that that's what a genius is about. <laughs> but <laughs> I'd rather do it the simplest way possible to have it work. So once I cut these fender skirts off, they are done. They are done. I did not go off and on, 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 make them filled off and on, off and on. Did not do that. I will make them, take them off, and they will fit. And that's how we'll do it. All right, then. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a welder over and then tack them on each, each place. When I tack them on, I know I've got this one filled, but re just remember now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weld the pieces to the round rod, not, not the skirt, not the skin itself. So I'll be able to weld them on and just put a little air on it. It'll never burn that off. And if it does, I can replace it. But if you understand what I'm doing and what I'm saying, um, this is the fastest way to make a set of fender skirts fit your vehicle. There's no, there's no other faster way. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to prove it. <laughs> That's the only way to do it, and Aiden, prove it. Huh? When the proof is in the pudding, I guess you're better. The brackets have to be made, and what we did, we had a little bit of, uh, looks like, inch, inch and a quarter of flat bar, and we just busted some holes in it with the plasma cutter, cut them off at lengths. Um, what I'm going to do now is each individual one, I'm just going to rub it off with the sander wheel there and take off the burrs. That's all I'm going to do is take off the burrs, and then I'm going to put them together and try to make them all similar. And that's just what I'm going to do very quickly, just bust this off after I plug the cord in. I'm going to be Canadian today, not Russian. I'm going to try to be Canadian, not Russian. All right, here we go. I'm going to bust these off. Just taking off the burrs. That's all I'm doing. They were cut with a plasma cutter. And the reason I cut them with a the plasma cutter is to do it as quick as possible. I didn't want to get a drill and drill it all out. Me and drills do not have good success sometimes. Just busting these off real quick. As I do this, I'm going to drop the three together and try to make them the same. And that means just I'll just bolt, put it down through the hole and uh, get each one where they're similar. They don't have to be perfectly the same. All they do have to do is be similar. Try to line them up the best we can. And I'll just do that, just tighten it up there. And all I'm going to do is hold, take a pair of vice grips, 
vice grip it down. Just make sure it don't go anywhere. Just going to smooth the edges off together. Try to make them all. Can be done a little bit better as you go along. We're just trying to get things geared up here. That's, you know, I'm just trying to get things geared up as quickly as possible. Straighten them out here a little bit. Just trying to There's the bottom ones. Now we'll do the exact same for these ones. Knock the snot off them. These are going to be brackets to hold the fender skirt, to be able to take the fender skirt off and on. Um, these will be made in-house as quickly as possible. Just like the fender skirt, quickly as possible. And uh, that's the way I like to do things. together. And all I'm doing is, is trying to get something that looks familiar. Each piece looks the same, you know. Um, it's, I can put them underneath there all junky and cut if I want to, but it probably wouldn't make you very happy when you look at it, you know. If you get anything look at the brackets, you want all the brackets looking the same, going the same way. That's what we're going to try for. All the brackets going the same way, same size. I do this and put them on, they're still going to be work to, to be done to finish them to make them look nice, not complete. So now what I'm going to do, on each one of these, I'm going to put three brackets on this, I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put probably one there, I'm going to put one up front, and then we'll pin the top. When we cut the fender skirt off, we'll know that all the brackets fit because they'll be pre-welded on there just like the fender skirt is. So we've not taken the fender skirt off once, and we've still, you know, are getting the job done. And if you want to. Now I'm going to place this on here. See these are two pieces. One. I'm going to bolt, put a bolt down through that. I'm going to mark that. And I'm going to bend one edge of this. And I'll tell you the reason why. This edge here is going to be bent on a 90, this long one here. So this is going to come down. This is the 90. The 90 is going to be on the fender skirt. Actually, I'll just bend them and then I'll show you as I go. So we'll take these over to the table. We're going to bend these. I got a new friend in today. His name's Aiden. He's, he's, he's into the car world, and we're just kind of talking through a process. And sometimes it's just better to watch than it is to do anything to learn something, if you think about that. That's what we like to do. That's why I like to show the videos. If you do not know, <laughs> The only way to know is to be shown. And if you're not shown, how would you know? So I want to thank all the other car builders in the world. I want to thank every one of you for showing me and inspiring me what to do. <laughs> and what not to do. And what not to do. Because there's both, obviously. As I have that on there, I'm going to mark this. Now, as I mark that, 
I would never bend it on the line because that's, that's not where I want it bent. What I do when I put it in the vise, I can see that distance there. So when I put it in the vise, I'm trying to bend 90, you know, I do the exact same thing. I know it's a little bit over the line, so I put it over a little bit of the line. We'll go this way so you can tell. How's that? I know it was that far from the line. That's the true read right there, or close to it. And that's where I'm going to bend it. I know the mark is there, but if I paid attention, I know it was that much, that much distance. Don't bend your 90s too far. It's harder to, it's easier to bend the 90 than it is to bend the 90 back, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. It's easier to bend the 90. So that'll go on there. That'll go on the fender skirt. That'll weld on the round rod of the fender skirt. This piece here will weld on the round rod of the fender. We'll just put that through there for now. It doesn't matter how. You know what I'm trying to do. And I need three of them. So we're doing one in the very back tail. So it brings it up nice and tight. We're going to do one up in the front where it begins. And then we'll do one halfway. And then we'll pin it at the top. I'll get that from you, Aiden, here in a minute. As I do this, there's my, get in here and bend this. I'm just turning this to see where it fits the best. That's all I'm doing, just turning it to see where it fits the best. As I do that, I draw my line so I can see that it's down a little bit. So I do the exact same thing when I put this on here. I leave it down a little bit so I can see the line to get the true read. There she be. God love her. I do. There's nothing special to what I'm doing here. Nothing special. I'm just making a couple brackets. Just making a couple brackets. Is that the one that went there? Just making a couple brackets to fit. Try this one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Aiden must have cut the hole in that one. Didn't you, Aiden? Nothing else. He can cut a hole. Right, brother? <laughs> he can go. No, no. So I'll bolt this one together. I'm just, I'm just putting these together so when I get underneath there, I get sort of ready. You have another nut and bolt there, so I'm going to do the exact same with this one. Everybody had a good Christmas, because I know I did. Where'd my little marker go? Did I dump that somewhere? Oh, and man, there it is. There it is. It's hiding on me. There, do it again. We're going to come down that far to get a real bend on it, real true bend. Okay. Didn't go farther than a 90. Did not go farther. It just makes it easier when you don't. When you don't. Now let's see how this goes here. Now we're going to go over and plunk these on that fender skirt. I am not going to put a bunch of heat on them. I'm just going to tack them in there because then that way there I know where they go. I'm just going to tack them in there so I know where they go. And they do not move when I take it off. And then when I take them off, then I can do the, finish the welding in on the fender where the, where the piece hits the fender. I can do it on the round rod. I can have an air hose with me. I can cool it off. I will not take any of the, the mud off. Exact same with the fender skirt. I'll do the exact same thing. I'll make sure that I got it off when I finish welding it. But right at the present moment, I'm making the brackets. So when I take, cut the fender skirt off, I can bolt it right back on, and I know they fit. So I'm, I'm cruising on. How's that? I'm cruising on. So we got three brackets, and that's what I did. 
I have the lights up in there if it's still working. The light is up in there if it's still working. So, what we got is we got a, we got the ground on. And I'm gonna pull the welder over just a little bit further. The gas is open. Um, I might put a helmet on sometimes and sometimes I might not. It all depends on the position I'm in and if I can get at it. Make sure to know when I pull the trigger and I'm welding underneath the car that I'm closing my eyes before I pull the trigger. What I'm doing is I'm just making sure the wire is exactly where it needs to be to weld. So what I make do is I make sure it's exactly where to be, I shut my eyes and I pull my trigger. That's what I'm doing. If you see me welding without a helmet and you're worried, don't worry. Is we got underneath here. Come on, baby. As we get underneath here. We get the brack we gotta figure our brackets out. And this is what's going on. On this one here. On the fender skirt, this is where the, the, the one's going on the fender skirt, and then the top piece will go on. This is the fender skirt, these two pieces of ram rod here. I want to bolt it up down here at the end. I want it this to be a bracket to bolt it up so it goes tight. This top piece is going to tell you how far it goes. So if that is mounted together and I mount that in there, when I cut the fender skirt off, when I take my hacksaw and stick it in and cut that filler out in there, and I cut that all out, that filler right there. When I pull it off, I'll have the brackets to put it back on. And that's what I'm doing. And that's all I'm doing is putting a bracket on the car before I cut the fender skirt off so I know, so I know that it fits. And here we go. I'm going to put the hat on, helmet on, because I can here, here, I guess. Get a little light here. You see the filler, so I'm going to put my bracket on, put my fender skirt, no heat, not going to tear off the fill, no, nope, don't want to do that. As I see that bracket here, see this piece on the top, you can see it loose. Now I want to connect that to the round rod of the car, and that's right there on that corner. Now I've connected that piece of round rod to that corner. So now I'm going to come over here and connect this side. Then I can come over here and connect this side to this big round rod. Now, I have not burnt no fill on the edge of that fender skirt. That fill is not hurting that whatsoever. There's not much heat there. So what, now what I've got is, I've got a bolt and a nut. I've got the top piece here and the bottom piece here. When I put the fender skirt back on, when I tighten this up, that'll pull that up tight. This bracket on the top will hold it, its distance and in and out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another one on up here. Another one. You want to take the bolt out to show? I think the bolt's a little cross. We'll take the bolt out like that. And then I can unbolt it. Take my fender skirt off. This piece is connected to the fender skirt. This top piece is connected to the round rod of the fender. So I put, when I put my fender skirts off and on, I will, they will unbolt. Um, as you can see, As you can see, the auto body filler in between here, that's the stuff I'm going to cut out. That's what I'm going to cut out to cut it off. Um, yeah. As I got another one here, another bracket here. Move your head to our right. That's all right. Um, we're going to go up here somewhere. Yeah, I can see pretty good. Um, see that, how the bracket's on? This is on the fender skirt. Um, the flat piece is on the car. So when I take this piece here, we'll get it a little tighter here. Yeah, 
It's kind of holding things in place. I do not want to get it in the way of the washer so I can't cut the washer off. But see there's a top, see the top piece fitting on the rack, the round rod of the fender. This is the fender strip. So I'm going to touch this piece on. That tacks that piece on there. That piece is the fender skirt. So, that's just tacked on there. And that's all I want. When the fender skirt comes off, I undo these and cut that out, and then, then, then come off. When the fender skirts come off, these pieces will slide off. You won't see those. Then you won't see them tabs. So you could run it without fender skirts. And the reason that we're doing it this way, is because I already did the other side on the on the other on the driver's side, and Jolene said, maybe you should flip them upside down. Then when you when you take the fender skirts off, you will not see the tabs. And that's exactly what has happened on that part. Is Jolene made the suggestion to turn them around, and it worked. And I took it. And I suggest that anybody that is building something and um, that is making something, make sure that your mind is wide open. Because if it's not, um, that means you know everything. And that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Everybody builds off everybody. And uh, Jolene had the best idea for that. And I went with it. And um, I suggest that if anybody else is building cars, if you are not open-minded, um, you will not... I don't say not. I shouldn't. I don't like that word not. Um, there's so many other avenues to make things work that a lot of people don't accept. And I am wide open to accept somebody's information. And that was good information about turning the brackets upside down. So I've got one that holds it there, one that holds it there. I'm going to make it one that holds it here, and I'm going to pin the top. And what we mean by the pin the top is I'll show you. Um, as I have these on here, this one here, we wouldn't want to turn it sideways. We want it that way because it pulls the fender skirt up and holds it in place. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this part. I'm going to turn this around because it doesn't need to be like that. It needs to be like that. I'm doing this as quickly as possible for you and I. to see what's going on. Yeah. As I'm in here, how did I do that now? this time? This one goes on here. Looking to the other side. I am, I'm looking to the other side. Hmm. That round rod is thicker. I'd like to grind that back if I could, but uh, hmm. I want that up like that if I can. So what I'm going to do is I want another piece of this and I want to make this tab just a little bit longer because this is sitting out a little bit. I'm actually going to grind that, grind that back a little bit and that's the way I'm going to do that. I'm going to grind that back. And that's what I'm going to do, because I can. I'm going to put a hat, a glasses on. Me underneath there with no glasses on. Who do I think I am? Huh? Get a pair of glasses over here. I'm just going to grind that fender thing back a little bit. I'm just hating. I might even use that piece you cut there. Um, I'm going to grind this back just a bit. Because this, this round rod's out further than the other round rod. It's another nice thing about round rod. It gives you an edge or a lip that you can, that you can grind. It gives you a lip or an edge that you can grind. And the only reason you'd want that lip that thick. Where do I put that? There it is. There it is. I need this piece on the bottom a little bit longer. Aiden, you might
way to cut the rabbit's holes of us all. How's that? That's the truth. He cut the roundest hole of us all. I'm put that on there. Because I want me to cut this. Too long still. Oh. We will only weld it when it fits. Remember that, Aiden? Never weld it until it fits. And if it don't fit, don't weld it. That's all I can tell you. Just keep playing with it, keep playing with it, and keep playing with it until it does what you want it to do. And then go from there. saying says, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Here we go, one more time. I'm going to put it in there. There. Oh, now I can weld this bracket onto the fender skirt and this and this piece up top fits the, fits the round rod up there without causing a bunch of issue. That's what I wanted. And that's what I want. Now everything can be finished when it's off. Everything can be finished when it's off. Yeah. That square piece is welded to the fender skirt. Um, yeah. And the top piece is welded to the car. I just gotta find a find a spot there. Remember that welding trick I told you? I close my eyes before I pull the trigger, and then I seem to be okay. Um, fender skirt. I see a little spot here. I can catch the fender skirt. That's what I've done. I'll put another spot here to satisfy myself. Cool. So now I'm going to take the fender skirt off. This piece here is only tacked on the fender skirt here and there. I'll run a bead weld on the bottom. When I get them off, it'll be what it's got to be. Exact same with everything. I'll, I'll attack it once it's off. I just pull the nut out, pull the book, and it'll come off. Right now, I'm going to run a pin up through the center, and that's where it's at. We want one pin left, so we got one bolt, two bolt, three bolt, and a pin. So everybody in the world will know how to take Jolene's fender skirt off in case she gets a flat tire. Right, baby? So everybody in the world can know how to take her fender off. All right, I got this piece here. I need a that. Cut that off. It's a good thing everything's bolted down or welded down on the 40 because I'd probably start using pieces off that. <laughs> coming in and out and the bolts will hold it tight. So here we go. We're going to go underneath the car again one more time. See how what goes on here. We'll see what it looks like and see if we can get it to work. Yeah.
a hard place to work. You know what? You do what you gotta do. Got a piece of square tubing or a piece of square plate up there. Then what I'm gonna do is I run a so pin, and I'm gonna have to do the bend that pin over a little bit. What happens is when I put that in there. I'm gonna to go to the so closest side of the hole. So, this hole is close to this side. That means the round rod is gonna take most of that. So that'll leave the rest for the pin to hold it tight. What I'm gonna do though is, as I see as the pin goes in, I've got gap between the round rod down the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pin and I'm gonna bend it over a little bit and then weld it to that. And at the same time, I'm going to make the smallest part of it where it fits the tightest. I'm going to make that closer. So, if you can picture it, round rod is running like this on that piece. Because that's where I'm sticking that in on that fender. Round rod is running on that piece. You can see the distance that I have that it's out. I don't want that. I want it closer like that. So when the pin goes in, when the pin goes in, the round rod is right there. I don't want the round rod back here in the pin. I don't want it tight as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some stuff off of this right now. Everything can be fixed. There, you take it off. Watch this. Does it have the round rod on this? And I'm pointing to you. Does it have the round rod on that? See how the round rod's right there? Mm -hmm. Now, when I put the round rod up through, it should be fairly tight to this, mm -hmm. which, which I want. I don't want it loose. All, all of the, the welding and the brackets can be buffed and, and fixed later. You know what I mean? They can be buffed and fixed later and finished welding. Right now, I'm going to bend the end over. I'm going to bend the end over. Because it's keeping it away from the front of the screw. Okay? That's going to weld on the round rod of the fender screw. That's going to go up to the hole. And what I learned last time. Yo! Say hi! Out to top. So I'm going to take and put this piece up in there. Somebody banged her head. And her name is Jolene. Now, I don't want to get it over there by the. I don't want to get it over there by that uh, washer, so I can't get it cut off. But I do want to get it in the middle, sort of. Right, tacked her. Just tacking it. And what you realize, have to realize, as I'm tacking that on there, I could rip that right off right quick. It's just tacking it to put it in place. Now I have this, my pin. I might have made it. I'm gonna cut a little bit off my pin, and then we'll be fine. Can you move the light over? Move the light over. Can you see up in there now? Whatever way I can get that to go through there, the straightest. And that's her right there. It's so hard to hold myself up. But. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna hold myself up, put my pin in. Ouch, didn't get it. Thought I had it. Where'd that go? It's right behind you. I don't wanna lay on that, do I? Get a pair of ice grips and put on it. 
Try it again. <laughs> Thought I had it too. Ow. Ow. I can't hold it. Let's blow it for a second. <laughs> All I want to do is tack it in place. That's all I'm looking for is tack it in place. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the pin is through the hole up on the bracket. I've got it welded to the fender screw on the round rod there. I'm thinking I like it. Yeah, it's good. It's really good actually. I'm going to tack this side on this side. Got it. So the round rod goes up through the hole to the pin. I've got it bolted here. All right. Okay. Okay. We've got it pinned up top. You can see the pins in, and it goes up through. We want it to go up through. It's up through in about half an inch. We've got a pin there. Everything is just tacked. We've got a bolt here. We've got it bolted over here, and we've got bolted over in the corner on the back part. When we take the fender skirt off, it's a matter of pulling that bolt out, that bolt out, that bolt out. Pin falls out. Now, as we have these on here, now it's going to be to the part where I got to go to the other side. I got to fill the other side out, do the exact same thing I did this side, and then I will cut them out. And when I cut them out, I will show you. Um, and that's it, basically it. That's how the fender skirt's off and on. We will finish it when we pull it off, and uh, we'll go from there. Well done, Jeffrey. Looks good, don't it, babe? Yep. Yeah, looks good. And that's what we had to do. Uh, the rear end got pulled out. Aiden helped me do that this morning. And that was just trying to be careful. And that's all we needed. It was just tacked in there. Um, and then we just cut the welds and dropped it down. We can put it back up. Uh, but now we have got all the brackets to take the fender skirts off and on. And uh, what a great thing that is. Because Jolene will be able to change your tire. And this is how I feel. I would never want Jolene to change her tire. I want her to give me a call. I would come pick the car up and give her another car to drive. Have a good Christmas, everybody. And that's uh, car content for Christmas and Boxing Day. Huh? Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for coming, Aiden. Love you, Jolene.